Here's everything that you need to know about the UK CBT. Hey nurses, welcome here to another episode of All About Abroad. This is a space where we from ABBA and Tracker address your questions or concerns about getting a job or getting a license overseas. I'm Carla Flores once again, and right now we are dedicating this episode to those who are aspiring to become UK RNs. The question is, what is the UK CBT and how can I take it? There's no denying that the United Kingdom has recently become one of the most popular countries of work destination among Filipino nurses. Thanks to the many changes that the Nursing and Midwifery Council of the United Kingdom has adopted, Filipino nurses are now able to enjoy the many benefits of working in the UK, all with a shorter, easier and less costly application process. The IELTS or the OET are considered the most challenging hurdles of the UKRN application process. But next to these, the UK CBT is also a point of concern among Filipino nurses. The NMC employs a test of competence to assess the skills and knowledge of those who wish to join the register, and it is composed of two parts, namely the computer-based test or the CBT and the Objective Structured Clinical Examination or the OSCE. Before a nurse goes through the test of competence, she must submit her eligibility and qualification application to the NMC portal so that the NMC can evaluate her credentials and check if they meet its eligibility criteria. It can take the NMC up to 14 working days to complete the assessment and they can start it even if the nurse hasn't taken the IELTS or OET yet. Once her eligibility has been confirmed, she will now be redirected to the Pearson View online portal when she can schedule her CBT. The CBT comprises 115 questions that are divided into two parts. Part A, the numeracy test, consists of short answer questions that require numerical answers. Part B, the objective questions and theory test, consists of multiple choice questions. A nurse can take the CBT at any Pearson View Testing Center and will be given up to three hours to complete it. An initial standard is set as a passing grade, and statistical techniques are being employed to maintain that standard across different versions of the test over time. Parts A and B are taken together in one sitting, but they are passed or failed independently. Should a nurse fail one of them, she would only have to reset the part that she has failed. Each sitting counts as an attempt, and a nurse has up to three attempts for UKRN application in order to pass it, with a minimum of 10 days between each sitting. We from Tracker offer assistance service for the UK CBT to nurses, so if you need any help in scheduling your CBT, then I invite you to leave us a message in any of our social media sites or contact us through these mobile numbers. You may have questions or concerns about overseas employment or licensing that need a lot of explaining. If you do, then you may send them in through the link on your screen. Who knows, we might just answer your question in the next episode. ABBA will be answering employment-related questions, whereas Tracker will be answering licensing-related ones. And as usual, I'm inviting all of you to like and subscribe to the All About Abroad YouTube channel if you haven't yet. We regularly release informative content here, so it'll be good if you stick around. This has been Carla Flores, and I hope that this episode has been very informative to you. Have a great weekend, everyone.